is a brand new event at Knott's Berry Farm that runs until August 11th. This nighttime party has live music, fun games, and special new foods. You can even buy a food tasting card for $35. So at the Knott's Summer Nights, you could get these to try out eight different foods. You don't have to use it all in one day. You could come back like tomorrow and use the rest of it. trying the veggie skewer and Preston is trying the sausage and shrimp skewer. How is that sausage? Really good? Chili in a cornbread bowl. It's really good. It looks good. And I am so hungry and I haven't been able to eat anything didn't yet. I know Carter's vegetarian. So that's why he's not trying any of this. Stuff. Wait, did you say seeds or cornerstones? Huh? It said in case you guys didn't know. Oh. But. So the chili in a cornbread bowl is really, really good. Really good. Maybe I can have some food now. I've been drooling here for the last 30 minutes watching everyone else eat. All right, Daddy's gonna try the sausage. It's a boysenberry sausage. It is? It is. Ooh, that sounds good. That's good. Juicy has a little bit of crispiness. Here, try this chip with chili. The chili corn pie. Is it good? You like it? No? Thumbs down from Preston. Which one's your favorite? The, uh, veggie skewer. Skewer. Yeah. Say skewer five times. Uh, skewer, 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 skewer. Alright, don't forget that word anymore. Which one was your favorite? Either the sausage or the chili bowl. <laughs> oh, that was close. Almost made it. Go Preston! Ladies and gentlemen, we got lots of great entertainment here tonight on this stage, on the stage over at Calico Park. We have an awesome DJ up there. Right around the corner, we're selling s'mores so you can roast them on those fire pits. But now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage our very red party man, Hyena! Cordelia Knott in the 1920s. During the 1930s is when Walter Knott helped Rudolph Boysen design a new variety of berry. It was a cross between a Loganberry, Raspberry, and Blackberry. He named it the Boysenberry after Mr. Rudolph. 
All the boysenberries in the world can be traced back to Mr. Knott's farm in Buena Park. Trying, Preston. Watermelon! Let me know how it is. We tried three different kinds of lemonade that they offer during not summer nights. Half and half? Yep. <laughs> All right, Carter, try the strawberry. Two thumbs up. Try the watermelon. Good. Which one's better? Out of the poisonberry, the watermelon, and the strawberry, which one's the best? The watermelon. Now we're gonna try some corn. What kind of corn? Kale and whatever this is. Kale. It's a Mexican style corn. You wanna try some? Is it good? Uh huh. Here, try a bite with that stuff on it. How is it compared to the other things you've tasted today? I'll take it again. So of all the food, this is the best food you tried today? Uh-huh. Better than this ice cream sandwich? Better than the skewers? All right. All right, Preston. Time to play berry pong. Okay, go. Try again. Oh, you made it. Now I'm going to create my own apple. I'm tapping on the apple. Butterfinger? Oreo? Which one? Oreo. Oreo. And with caramel? Caramel drizzle? Oh yeah. Thank you. Alright, it's your apple. We're ready to go. It's caramel drizzle. Drizzle and uh, peanuts and Oreos at the bottom. And fudge. And it's dipped in fudge. Oh, you broke the loop. How is it? Thumbs up. Thanks for watching Carter Corner. And don't forget to learn something new every day. Carter Corner, support C-A-R-T-E-R. That's it.